You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? It is your girl, your diva. And knowledge, Lady Mocha, represent a Mocha's Cafe de Pass, where I'm always serving you wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual awareness. Hopefully, everybody is doing good. So let me get right into talking about the EBT Awards. You heard me. I didn't say it incorrectly. EBT, okay? EBT as in it was ghetto, ratchet, section A, governmental assistance it was a major downgrade so if you're looking for me to give y'all my comment on all the highlights i honestly can't tell you because i did not watch the ept known as bet awards i didn't watch it but i caught little highlights here and there because everybody makes it a big old damn fiasco it, to me it's just another form of fuckstivities to me but um being that we are in the ratchet culture um anything that's ratchet anything that's low grade anything that's below below um class and you know um talent you know uh it gets a lot of praise and worship service right so can't help but to run into the highlights because it's all over instagram it's all over youtube uh, it's all over um, Facebook. So, you know, everybody makes the EPT Awards this big old um, hood rat extravaganza. So, first of all, let me start off by saying this. I have not watched the BET Awards since, oh my gosh, I would say probably the early 90s. I think for me, when the source Awards had that um, beef between Biggie and Pac, even though that's not the BET Awards, but it was still like a black um, oriented, uh, oriented awards ceremony show. And once all that East Coast and West Coast, I kind of lost my compassion. I lost my, my um, interest, you know, uh, when that West Coast and East Coast beef, that's kind of where it started. For me, and I just have not watched it. I have not watched the award shows in almost like 15, maybe 20 something years. I don't know. I really can't tell y'all when I actually watch it. I just, my panties just do not get wet like everybody else that feel like, oh, I gotta catch the awards. I got the, I got the turn the TV, turn the TV to the wall. I just have zero interest. I just don't because for one, um, the EBT Awards, and I'm going to keep calling it EBT. I know it's BET, okay? Don't take a little like I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to call it the EBT, okay? Because to me, it was given Section A. I mean, it, it just was low budget. Um, it has become a, a, a whole, like I said, it, it has become a ratchet extravaganza. It's all about popularity. It's, popularity is becoming more of the priority than talent. All of these drill rappers, you know, all these female, um, um, you know, stripper slash rap artists, you know. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to feel some type of way, but I can't get into Sex and Red. I can't get into Cardi B. Um, I fell off of Nicki Minaj, the new Nicki Minaj. I'll say I kind of fell off of being a fan particularly so i guess I, I would say when she started with meek mill she started acting more thuggish you know to me when she got with meek mill and her marrying um you know uh pookie pedophile didn't make it any better but nevertheless you know i just cannot get into hip-hop i i have lost and maybe because i'm in my middle 40s and a lot of the young <clears throat> fans get offended you know, when the older crowd, you know, um, we have our opinions on the, the drill music, which to me is known as kill music, because a lot of the artists within that genre, they're, they don't live long. Um, they're not surviving long enough to sell platinum records, uh, you know, to really see their rap career 
blossom or bloom because they getting offed off, you know, they getting, they getting, um, you know, they, they're, they're being, you know, unalived before they can really like make it big, you know, and I can go on and on and on like the young man Fulio and then, you know, uh, uh, oh, young Dolph. I mean, I go on and on y'all, but y'all get my drift. Um, drill artists have become kill artists. You know, they're going after one another. They're trying to unalive each other. Then you got Drake and Kendrick Lamar. That's that's beefing. And you know, this is what happens when people have too much money. When you no longer have to struggle for things, you don't have to be. You don't have to deal with the everyday survival that I, that us average folks are dealing with. You don't have to make payments on payment arrangements on your light bill, payment arrangements on your water bill. You know, when you don't have to struggle, you have time to entertain foolishness. You're beefing about egos. Folks out here trying to survive, you know what I mean? For the most part, we don't have time to really beef about egos. We don't have time to beef about what you said on your record, what you, what, your diss record. You know, they got too much money, you know, and because they don't have these struggles out here, as the saying goes, um, uh, I don't mind as a devil's playground. Y'all start beefing and, and getting into childish disputes that could easily be overlooked But because y'all have too much time on y'all hands. If y'all was out here in the struggle, you wouldn't have time too much worrying about what somebody got to say about you on your disc record because you, you're trying to pay your mortgage. You're trying to pay your car notes and stuff like that. But I've, I, I've, I've been lost my fascination. For the EPT Awards, it's ghetto, it's ratchet. A lot of the male artists today, they are acting more feminine. I mean, with the with the fingernails being polished, they're wearing pocketbooks, they're wearing diamond pearls. Um, they they're acting. It's too much feminine energy with a lot of these male artists today. You know. Um, and then with the women, it's too much masculinity energy. I notice now a lot of female rappers, they have to, you know, um, use baritone in their voice to make themselves sound more masculine. Yeah, and I was rolling with this nigga while his hand was on the trigger. My butt is getting bigger. I'm making major figures. You know, they got to talk like a nigga and act like a nigga. Put another trigger. My booty getting bigger. You know, they got to drop their voice and sound like niggerish. You know what I'm saying? To to get um some type of, of clout and admiration and recognition, recognition. Back then, you know, female rappers was able to be feminine and still have that little masculine like MC Light. Yeah, you know, I'm hard as a rock. You know, she had her little masculine flavor, but she still had her feminality. You feel me? Salt and pepper. Queen Latifah, women went hard, you know, on a on a lyrics, but they still kept that feminine energy. You know, even Lil' Kim had her hard, you know, Foxy Brown, but they still kept that feminine energy. Uh, these women today, all feminine energy is gone. They grabbing a crouch like they ninjas on stage, you know, and this is the whole thing. I, I have to school my people, right? You have to remember during the men menstrual, the menstrual show era. Remember when white folks used to wear black faces, right? And they would perform and do shows um, in black faces, posing to be us, pretending to be black. Meanwhile. Acting like monkeys, acting like, you know, what they considered us as ignorant ninjas or whatever. Because that's how they perceived us. We was like a mockery. So they would wear these black faces, you know, to, to freely make a mockery out of, of, of black folks. We was made as entertainment, okay? We was made as the, as the, um... As as the uh, I know the words I'm trying to formulate, but we was basically maybe I'm thinking too deep. We was basically made a mockery out of. They did not really respect our talent, our creativity. So what they did was wore black faces and still had their lips white and pink, and they made fun of us. You know, made fun of us acting silly. Um, if you don't believe it, you get a chance when you exit. Um, 
you know, when you finish, you know, watching the content or whatever, you can go back and look on YouTube and put in black faces or menstrual shows, and you will see how they had us talking funny, acting funny. Hi, Pa, how you doing? You know, things that really was nowhere fitting the real profile of 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 or fitting the real energy and personality of black people because we didn't act like that in, in real life, but that's how they perceived us. And because white folks dominated the industry at that time, that gave them a lot of leeway to make a mockery out of us, to make fun of us, and the rest is history. But what a lot of people are not peeping because a lot of y'all are not woke, the menstrual show has been reincarnated, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason I say that, if y'all don't know, EPT, I know it's BET, but I'm going to call it EPT. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like, hit the likes, right? EPT has been bought by the white folks, okay? So they are now over that whole network, which means they're the ones kind of pulling the strings. And it is the, the black folks within the industry um, that is, is being made as puppets. They are pulling the strings now. So with that being said, being that they are running the networks, they are the ones pretty much deciding how to orchestrate black entertainment within the industry. Okay, so saying that whole EPT performance really raised eyebrows to me because it spoke volumes to me in a sense letting me know how these folks are still in some shape or form they are making sure that they make a mockery out of black entertainers rather if it's actresses um uh, but i'm not gonna go that far out. i'm just gonna stick with the music okay they're making male rappers and female rappers and all of that they're allowing us to be the new black face of the menstrual show, okay? The only difference is now they don't have to pretend to be us. That way they can make us look ignorant, make us look stupid, make us look talentless. What they are doing is they are intentionally picking up artists, blowing them up. And it's an agenda because they want to push that narrative that it's the talentless, most ratchetness, most um, ghetto fab artists that should pave the way and get most of the recognition. And that is what they're doing. Any female rapper that comes out right now um, doing raps on positivity, um, politics, political things, she's not going to get no shine. If she's doing music about love and, it's a, and about black women respecting themselves, you know, like that Queen Latifah from Moni Love vibe back in the day, you know, you uh, and T Y for unity, you know, back then female rappers was constantly promoting for black women to better themselves, to respect themselves and to have some integrity. But all of that has been thrown out the door. They want the most ratchetest gut bucket project, low income subsidizing housing females to be the new billboard of what they perceive as the new menstrual black face of entertainment. I just don't see the fascination with everybody talking about the EPT Awards. Everybody's all over it, talking about what they love, who performed well, from the highlights I saw. Um, when Usher, you know, you know, he's been in the industry for years as a child and 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 was one of the few that still has longevity um in his career. When they call themselves you picking, or I don't know why they picked the selection of people they picked. Um, to do like pay homage to him. They use females. I think one of them was named Coco Brown. And it looked like she did like a stripper players club performance. In front of his wife. And you know his wife was being a good sport about it fortunately. Um, and then Kiki Palmer. I'm like who are these talentless females that, that just you know. And I'm not knocking Kiki Palmer. I'm not knocking these young women. They are just doing what the industry is giving them the pathway to do. But I'm like, why are you, again, they're trying to make women become masculine. Why are women doing Usher songs? 
Why were there why was there not any male artists that was doing Usher songs? You know, they 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 could they could have chose you know, um any any current male performers, you know, um Bobby Valentino, Chris Brown, um, you know, um, um, October London, and so many other male artists out there who could have, um, you know, performed Usher songs. They picking females to act like dudes. Usher was singing songs from a masculine point of view. Why is a why are females, you know, singing his lyrics when it's coming from a man about how he feels about women? You make me want to leave the one I'm with, find a new relationship. You know, every most of Usher songs is from a masculine standpoint. So why the hell are females rapping it? I mean, did Taraji Henson, no disrespect, sis, but you looked at like a whole fool and a half performing Kendrick Lamar's song. I'm like, y'all are not reading the room how they are using black folks as the new mystery old show. They're making a fool out of you. You mean to tell me? I mean, they could have even used one of the old, the, the legend, the, one of the, the icon legends to perform that. Then why not let LL Cool J Ice Cube, one of the legends, pay homage to to Kendrick Lamar as as a, as a um as a as a uh, as a younger male rap artist, and let one of the the the, the old school the the icons you know flip it and pay homage for for him still keeping you know hip hop going. Y'all gonna let a damn 51, 52 year old? I mean, really, in the fact that. Taraji agreed to do it. Girl, how you went from Benjamin Button and all these iconic movies to you performing on stage. How we do that? Taraji, I thought we was past the baby boy. I mean, I understand starting off as a female actress. You got to take what you can get. You had to rest in peace to John Singleton, y'all. One of the most talented directors Again, hit the like button. How, but how you went from that? You graduated from Baby Boy. You went to doing Tyler Perry movies. How, how in the hell did you go from that to performing and dressing like a dude? And reenacting as if you're Kendrick Lamar. You look nothing like him. You have his complexion. You don't have his complexion. You don't have... I mean, was that like, uh, what's the word, like a spoof? Was that like the comedy of the show? Because somebody helped me out. Was that like a skit? Was she for real? Let's say if it was a skit. It was not a good one. It looked terrible. I mean, that is why black women, like, you know, same thing with, um, uh, oh my gosh, nobody couldn't stand her. Tiffany Haddison. I think that's her name. Was it? Is it Tiffany Haddish? How they had her walking around on the red carpet eating chicken, having her saying dumbass jokes, making people look at her with a side eye. She up here talking about how she wanted to smash Brad Pittman. I mean, black women, do y'all just take anything that they fetch at you? Not understand. Not do y'all not have any type of discretion to, to turn down certain things and say, wait a minute, that don't fit my character, that don't fit my personality. Every once in a while, you got to step outside your element, but it, it just, it makes no sense to me, you know, how black folks are not reading the room and they're not able to understand that they are the new black face. They're the new menstrual show. No, no one is taking their creativity, their skills, their talent serious. We're, we're, we're being taken as a joke, you know, um, as, as a spoof. Our, our talent and creativity is not being respected because 
we're allowing these white folks to just throw us any and everywhere. And I can't blame them 100% because, again, it's, it's the black folks that's signing up for this. So when Taraji saw that, she didn't see nothing wrong with it when they had come to her, hey, we want you to perform as Kendrick Lamar. Why are they trying to get women to act more masculine? Every female uh, performer has to act like a stripper, look like a stripper. Rest in peace to the Whitney Houston's, the Pat, um, 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 Aaliyah's, um, you know, Natalie Cole, all, all the queens who had real talent and didn't have to act like they was a cast member on the Players Club. I mean, y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't become so consumed with ignorance that y'all don't forgot to entertain. Y'all don't entertain anymore. I mean, women on the stage performing like they strippers, humping the floor, grinding the floor. You got older men there. You got married men there. There's a time and a place for everything. That is still like a family-like atmosphere. You got married couples there. You have some teenagers there. It, it just was a flat out disgrace. It was third, third hand embarrassment, which is why I stopped watching EPT awards. I can't stomach seeing women twerk. I can't stomach seeing men walk the red carpet, switching, twitching, wearing damn um um barrettes, fingernail polish, um um. Open toe wedges. I'm just over. I'm over, you know, um, the, the black community. It's, it's no longer the black community. There's no community. It's called just ghetto. The black ghetto. There's no community because they're not commu conducting themselves as a community. The community has some integrity, has some type of, you know, respect. They try to basically stand for something that that that's that's um going to keep the black the black community you know um some some type of you know something to be proud of something to be admired for it's just it's it's no black community it's just straight ghetto it's ghetto i mean angela simmons the reverend runs daughter Told in a sparkled, bedazzled gun that supposedly was a pocketbook on a red carpet. D don't we not understand we have enough gun violence? Why would we glamorize that? I mean, really? You the reverend's daughter. You could not get your bedazzled pocketbook to look like something else other than a gun. But then again, she's with Gotti. So she's with a gangster dude. And this is what happens when you have, um, you know, airheaded females who get with thug dudes or get with gangster dudes. They think they can keep up, you know, with the with with, with their gangster boyfriends or whatever, and they try to imitate and act like they on that level. That that's when you get these church girls who try to act like they down, and they just end up looking like you know, really like slow. But Angela Simmons has always been slow, to be honest with you. She's always been beautiful. I would give her that. She's always been stunning, has a beautiful body. But her brain is has always been on life support, just like Portia Williams. Beautiful women, but the brain is on life support. Okay, the elevator don't go all the way up. All right, it is what it is, okay? Um... But a lot of people are, are, are coming at her for that, and righteously so. Girl, you got a son, okay? Your baby daddy died from gun violence. So why would you, you know what I mean, like walk around, you know, with, with a, a, a bedazzled gun? It's classless. It's tasteless. And that's the problem with this industry. They always got the up the ante to really stand out. It's like... If they, they want a moment so bad, they want to go viral so bad, they're willing to, to take any extremes or measures to really 
embarrass themselves why they're thinking, you know, it's going to bring me all this clout. It's going to make me go viral. It actually makes you look foolish. She really made herself look distasteful. And I, I'm sure her daddy been washed his hands with her a long time ago. <laughs> it was, you know, after her gangster baby daddy died, then on top of that, you got Wagati. I'm sure, like any other parent, Rev Run washed his hands with it and said, you know what, she's a grown woman. I'm not even, like, taking myself through that. Daddy Ben gave up the ghost. Daddy Ben stopped praying for her. Ben stopped telling her to go to church. He already know Angela is lost in the sauce, okay? That was not a good look. The whole show was garbage. Not just garbage, hot garbage. It stunk. It was a hot ass mess. I do not know why content creators got to make a big eye or I, I, a big old fiasco out of. Did y'all catch the BET Awards? No. I'm gonna tell you what I was doing. I was watching Sanford and Son drinking my Amaretta Sour. Watching the Sanford and Son marathon and scratching my left cheek in my bed. That's what I was doing while my husband was knocked out, okay? Because uh, I, I just don't have no interest. I don't care about music today. Call me old, call me old-fashioned, call me lame. And I know, I know the young generation today is very disrespectful. So I won't be surprised if they come in the comments saying all kind of things. That's the problem with you old people. Even back in y'all day. Yeah, we had some ratchetness back in our day. We had the little Kims. We had the, you know, every generation has had its own little level of ratchetness. But we wasn't talking about eating no booty, you know, and, 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 and licking balls and all this other stuff. I mean, these females today... They, they they just on a whole nother level with that. I mean, even artists that was part of the alphabet community. You know, you had your George Michaels. You had your, um, oh, I forgot the other man's day. Um, um, John, is it John? Um, I got to remember the name. I know he's saying Benny and the Jets. I, I'm going to find out his name. Elton John. So, you even had the alpha community, even back then, um, Boy George, you know, men who were that way, but they kept it low-key. You got to figure it out. You kind of had to wonder, like, is he? Do he got a little sweet, sweet? Do he got a little splendor? You couldn't figure it out because they were smart enough to still make themselves appealing to straight women. Nobody believed George Michael was, you know what I mean? I mean, a man never carried himself like that. He was like the lady's sex symbol. Rest in peace to him. And I know that's going a whole nother way because, you know, he, he's a, a white male artist. But what I'm saying is even men back then who was that way, they said supposedly Luther Vandross was that way. But we never saw anything to really give us proof. Now they just put it all out there. You got the Nas X's and, and, and you got the little Uzi's. They they not even trying to hide. Little Uzi act like he got a, a girlfriend, JT, one of the city girls. But, bro, you got a pocketbook and wearing wedges and, and, and French tip manicure and all of that. I, I You know, and again, that's another topic for another day. You got a lot of these dudes that, that is that way, but they use women. You know, as as a billboard to hide behind their sexuality. You know, and that's one of Diddy problems. That's why Diddy won't marry. He really can't be who he really wants to be. So he hides behind women by abusing women and using women. But that's another story for another day. Anyway, y'all, the EPT Awards sucked. Every year that they talk about it, I get a migraine. Because I have absolutely zero interest in... It's all over, it's all over everywhere, like infested rats. There's nowhere you can't go right now without somebody um, showing sexy red, throwing money. Um, it, it's just, it's, um, it's just terrible. I just, I can't do it, y'all. I just don't have the patience to deal with the ratchery of the EPT Awards. Um, again, if y'all was looking for highlights, I really don't have much to say. If you was looking for and wanting to know my comment on who performed, who I thought did well, who I thought didn't do well. Um, I really can't tell you that because I didn't watch it. I seen Will Smith make his little comeback. 
it's whatever with that. Um, like I said, you got people still riding for Will Smith or whatever. I, I just don't or whatever. But um, like I said, my um, lack of interest in him is not going to hurt his celebrity status or fan base, obviously. But I wish him the best. But that performance was straight ritual. Why would you want to perform in a ring of fire looking like you in hell? Um, I don't know why you want to bring that type of omen or inclination on your life or yourself. I hope you did truly repent for everything you done did. Because, I mean, people can sit up here and forgive you. Oh, I'm still working for Will. I'm still, I hope he really repented. Um, righteously so. I know he studied Scientology. So, I don't think he really has any real loyalty with Christ. And that's his own personal business. And that's not for me to decide. But, um, it just was whack, y'all. It was just whack as hell. I, I I can't stand none of the awards. I don't watch the Soul Train. I don't watch the Grammys. I don't watch any of them. It's just a bunch of stuck up in uh celebrities who wouldn't even uh, offer you a cup of coffee if they saw you in real life. Um, a lot of them are stuck up. They they not people persons. Um, but they will capitalize off of our our clout, our recognition our money um that they, they will use us to their advantage but for the most part a lot of these individuals they really internally can't stand the people who support them you'll be surprised how many male artists that black women support and these dudes can't even stand black women or how many um exotic you know exotica are um non-colored black women who are very talented artists who have black men drooling all over them, but in the back of their mind, they would not dare ever even want to be with one. So we have all of these people, these celebrities that we worship and praise and we lusting over them. You know, we giving them all this praise and admiration and really at the end of the day, they can't even stand us. They just take our money and our wealth and they keep getting wealthy off of people who they internally do not like, who they internally are not even attracted to, but it is what it is, y'all. Leave your opinion below. Let me know what y'all think about the EPT Awards. Like I said, I can't give y'all no real feedback on who I liked, who I didn't like. All of them suck. It's a popularity contest. It's not about talent. And it's about um, uh, you. It's either the same artists who keep winning or it's these new artists that really have not displayed much talent that they keep blowing up. Um their priorities between what's popular and what's talented has been tainted. Um, again, it's the white community that's running the EPT Awards. So again, we are the new blackface. We are the new menstrual show. And um, one thing about black folks, they don't mind being made a fool out of. If it's going to put money in their pockets, if it's even if it's going to tarnish their... Their integrity, you know, they'll do it. They don't mind compromising and selling their soul um, to get that bankroll. You feel me? So anyway, y'all, leave y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about the EBT, <laughs> B E T awards. Um, black B E T. The me stands for Blackface Entertainment Torture. That's how I see it. The whole goddamn every last performance was torture. I'm sure one or two of them held their weight and did their thing, but I didn't care to watch it long enough to see who did well or not. Anyway, y'all, hit that like button before y'all leave, and I will talk to y'all soon. Be blessed. Take care.